Is Eddie Money waiting around for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Well, we asked him. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. This is part three of a seven-parter of our conversation with Eddie Money. Talk about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with anyone, and, you know, backs sometimes go up. A lot of folks love the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I really don't have a problem with them. But a lot of fans do, and a lot of artists do. Eddie Money is not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I asked him for his opinion. And you look at people like Mario Speedway and, and Styx and Survivor and, you know, 38 Special. And all my friends, I mean... They're not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame either, but I am in the Long Island Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is great with Neil Diamond and Barbara Streisand. And, uh, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I fuck, I'm from Long Island. And being that I'm from the, you know, I mean, I'd love to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because, you know, my kids would want me in. But uh, I'd like to see I'd like to see my friends get in before I get in. You know, I mean, people in the, I mean, like, you know, Kevin Crohn with Mario Speedwagon and, uh, of course, Survival was really good. I mean. There's a lot of great music out there, but, you know, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, they got to take care of a lot of people, too, so who knows? You know, if it happens, it happens, but to see somebody like Elvis Costello get in and me not get in, I don't know, I can't figure that out, you know? Don't you find being a musician and being in front of the stage, and that's longevity in your life instead of sitting in a rocking chair? Yeah, I mean, to tell you the truth, I mean, I got, you know, when I took a look at my brother, I mean, he's a retired cop, and he's got three or four jobs. I look at my nephews that are on the police department. I look people all around me that are mowing lawns and cleaning pools and things like that. I mean, everybody, I mean, if you think about Canada and the United States, people like us, we work very hard to make our countries as great as they are. And uh, I, I just feel like, you know, I, I'm into the work ethic, you know. Like when I get off the phone here, I've got to run over to the studio and start finishing up working on my record. Yesterday I had a big pro production meeting for the uh, for the Real Money show with the kids. I mean, I, I'm always working. And my wife, she books the bands and she looks, uh, you know, she looks great. She's really, you know, it's all part of a team. I mean, my kids, they play music for me. My wife helps me out. She books the show. She keeps me, you know, everything. It's all teamwork. I mean, you know, I'm sure that relationship with your wife, I'm sure she's a big, big help to anything you do, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. I mean, behind every great man, it's a fantastic woman, I always say. You know, that's what I feel like. Well, I've heard you say before, happy wife, happy life. Ain't that the truth, buddy? You know that. When did you know, what was the first time that someone told you, hey, Eddie, you got a voice here. You got to do something with that. When did that, how old were you when that happened? Well, I got to tell you the truth, I was singing, uh, you know, Chuck Berry songs and, and, and you know, James Brown songs uh, before the Beatles came out. I was really, really, I was, I was about 13 or 14 years old, and I started singing with, uh, singing with a band, and then I was in a band in high school called Grapes of Red, and then I went on the police department, and they moved out to California, and I quit the police department and moved out to California, but they weren't really interested in the music business like I was. And then eventually I got to deal with Bill Graham. And I mean, that was like 40 million records ago. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you comment on our videos. We read all the comments. Share our videos because that helps us grow, of course. But most importantly, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. This is Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.